Good afternoon, boys. If you watched my last video, we hurt the Evo. We is in me and Trevor. No, I think it was me, like I said. I don't throw Trevor on the bus. I'm not mad about it. Like, I let him drive the car. If it was him, if it was me. I truly think it was me because it was doing that weird hesitation up the hill. And it felt mechanical, not fuel or anything. It just felt wrong. So what we did in my quest to no longer allow that to happen is I got this. Here's the old shifter. You remember we put the season with the stock linkage and cables and all that. And that helped versus what Alex had. But now we've got these upgraded bad boy cables mated with this billet shifter. So see how like deliberate you have to like, so here's neutral. You wanna go over here, you gotta pull it this way. You wanna go over here, you gotta push it that way. There should be no time when I'm in fourth and go to, to first. What I'll do is I'll go fourth, third, second, third. You understand? You get it? You feel me? So I'm pretty stoked on that. Josh just finishing up that install. He's already fixed it, which you saw in the last video. Hours worth of work and this thing was good. But I got I got a cool, cool thing today. So our boy Idle Boost, shout out, hooked us up. Now, if you can count, there's two sets. We bought the last two, probably in the world of these. And I bought one set and Connor. I told Connor, hey man, I'm buying these and he loves these. And he said, hey man, give me some. So, boom, OG CEs in 18, 10 and a half, 18. So these are big boy CEs, R32, R33, R34 spec. Beautiful, beautiful, they're OG. So you got your anodized lip, you've got your whatever, satin center, rough satin center. And uh, they're sick. They're really good. Dang. I'm stoked. So, anyway, just collecting, you know, just collecting wheels. But speaking of that, as soon as Josh is done with that, I'm gonna have him mount some tires because I want to try some wheels on the white FD. I've had these hella OG TEs in bronze, and I've got these brand new 245s. I've been sitting on. Um, I was gonna put on some Evo wheels, so we're gonna try them on the wheels I have. See how they look on the FT. Let's go. Okay, so these are a little unknown. 17928, 17928 front rear. Little flat face on the front here, which we don't mind. But these are a little more aggressive than my 171040s that are on the current FT. The rear is sunk, so I know the rear's gonna fit. 17928 are should actually be exactly the same. So maybe I got lucky. I'm gonna throw a 245 on. Just a square 245, just for safety. I think we're good. Here they are. Josh a little nervous. You know what's really weird? This says rear, right? But there's a flat though. face. Yeah. Then this one, these wide ones say FR, which is front. Yeah, front right. Rear. Somebody was rocking them on like an Integra or so, you know, like something. It, or like some toge beast with the reverse stagger. Yeah. This would be huge on the Tegra. Yeah, well, like like I was thinking, like DC5. Oh, DC5, that'd be cool. Yeah. Style. So we'll see. We'll see how they look. I'm really excited to see them with the AO52s on there. And just see the FD, like, looking a little more gangster in the shop. So the homies at Racing sent me a bunch of stuff for my Z, and they sent me a set of lug nuts that I was going to put on the Supra, and I decided... Well, I need them for this right now. They are the same as the Supra, so um, we've got these sick lug nuts, and I need to show you these if you didn't see them already. They have this like hat that kind of rotates. Um, they actually told me they take two lug nuts, the machine one down. It's pretty fucking crazy. These are what I, I'd say these are one of the best lug nuts in the game right now. The biggest thing is they don't mar wheels, you know? I love that on your Z. Yeah. With the socket, like the weird five points. Yeah. Came with a really nice socket that Josh is talking about. It's crazy what just a set of coilovers and wheels can do for a car. Um, I don't have any plans for this, but I am gonna show you what it looks like and what I've got here and kind of the plan moving forward, but I don't have any like long-term plans. Somebody offered me money, 
I'll sell this thing, but I have most of these parts here except for the coilover. So here it is on the tees. I think it looks great. The front is flat, and uh, so that's like these are super OG tees, and uh, you could tell because this, these are darker. These aren't blast bronze. These are still OG bronze, but you can see these have more of like a copper color to them, and these have more of like a gold color to them. I, th I think you can see that. But one thing you'll notice on these OG re-releases is you'll see forged here and Ray's engineering. And all this is like embossed, monoblock, made in Japan. So these are the second run. These are like 2018. These were tw uh, 2004. So no engraving, no embossing, none, none of that bullshit. OG stickers and that lighter goldish uh, color. But Josh lowered a little bit. The car's filthy. So moving forward, my painter comes Friday. I'm going to see if he'll do the skirts, the spats, and the headlight cover. Uh, he's going to do some bays. We have him Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm going to see if one day he can spend on the FD and just getting it good. Friday, the detailer will be here. He's going to detail the whole FD, ceramic coat, whatever, whatever, and get this thing looking fire. And then it'll just chill here next to this one. But now that I see them with the car with size skirts, with this one, I can't do without. It just looks goofy, especially on white because it's more visible. This car kind of just blends into the shadow on the ground. I don't even know if you guys can see the side skirts. But the OEM skirts just change the look. So these will go on. I have to get them fixed. These are in rougher shape, but I had two sets. I made one perfect set for the Dream FD, and then I had the leftovers. And then I bought these if I said 15 years ago, I don't know if I'd be exaggerating. Brand new from the dealer. Stickers not peeled. They come pre-painted. Um, I never ran them. So these all have to be scuffed and sprayed. They go on the back. This FD has them. They re they really don't do a lot, but they flow with the skirt. You'll see the skirt goes up, and then the spat goes down there. I think you guys can see that. So anyway, it's kind of where the white FD is at. I love the car, but it's filthy right now. It's so gross. You can see just all the little dirt spots on it. Anyway, hopefully by the end of the weekend, it will look, I mean, already looks night and day from when I bought it, but the lip, the wheels, the skirts, the spats, the fixed headlight cover, probably perfect. And hopefully that'll happen by Monday. Anyway, I, I uh, have to inventory some stuff. I bought a... Uh, Bought a car today that I didn't think I was gonna buy. So stay tuned for that and I will uh, keep going. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, so I got Murr. I tricked Murr into dry ice blast in the Civic. No, just kidding. He's behind me probably going like this. So we are going to show. Oh. Murr. That one's grungy. Grab a, <laughs> grab a flathead. I grow here. Dirty jobs. Dirty jobs. So I want to show you this trailing arm. And this trailing arm, I want to show you the power of a flathead. So, do you want to clean this like this, Mer? With the flathead? No. Wait, is that serious? Yeah. Why? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Do you want to clean it like that? No. You don't? No one wants to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what a flat does. I scratched it as well, just so you know. Or maybe I didn't, I don't know. But this is what came off. You want to touch that? No one does. Just take that off there, just lightly. What is the consistency oh. of that? Sticky. Okay, so if you were, here, take the screwdriver back. If you were to clean the bottom of this, with this, with, with just any way you can think, what would you use? <laughs> Dry ice blasting. No, what would you use if you didn't have a hundred thousand dollars worth of dry ice blasting equipment? I don't know, probably a grinding wheel. A um, grinding a brush wheel or something, but that would fuck it up. <laughs> so nothing. <laughs> would you just total this car out? Car. <laughs> Wait, what? I would sell it. <laughs> Mer would sell the car if he had to clean this. You know what I would do? What? I would strip the thing entirely down to bare metal and paint and it. And leave it on my lift for six months. <laughs> oh, that was a shot at my boy Ruddy with that Miata. Ha ha ha. So, what we're going to do instead. Oh, my battery died or something. So, we're going to hit this and I'm going to show you 
Murr's gonna hold the camera, and we're gonna see what happens. Right, Murr? Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna get your wire wire wheel and finish the rest. <laughs> Work boots. So, uh, I gotta end this video because there's so much going on in the shop. The next video will be the FD is getting detailed and it looks fucking phenomenal. Um, I had Dom come and take some dents out of the Civic and that looks phenomenal. So, I'm going to wait for the FD detail to be done and then I'm gonna dry us the rest of the bottom of the Civic so that I can do what I'm gonna do with it. But, our boy Grits here, smoking. He's been smoking Grits all day. Cigarettes all day. And he got the uh, tea, cigarette guy. He got the teas on the F80. These were just sitting on my shelf, so I said, throw them on. Shout out versus, uh, they look sick. And he's like thinking about, he's thinking about changing the tire size because he's such a fucking stance boy pussy. But this looks, on it. this looks so tough. I don't know. I want it looks tires on it. so tough. This is tough for like a 50 year old. No, dude, you're, <laughs> you're so scared. You're, so scared. Scared. Like you're so scared. You're so scared of being old and like having good taste and having functional items. You are. Like you're like, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be old and have shit the function. I still want to be inconvenienced. So I know I'm about that life. No, you ain't about shit. Way smaller tires, big spacers, camber, bags. Yeah, shitty, shit, shit, garbage, <laughs> dick. Fuck. No, I love it. Anyway, it looks Great. fucking sick and it probably dries better and it probably could put the power down and he's an idiot if he changes it because this is the spec it that fucks fire, it looks so good. i hate everyone driving by here dude it's like i don't know if it's the downhill section but every time dude, the, they're they, how it's loud like a downshift zone how loud are people's tires these days dude these tires are loud that's a big ass Volkswagon. Yeah, these tires are loud. Yeah. I don't know if it's because they're well, so wide. They're 32 inches wide. Anyway, stay tuned because a lot is going on in the shop. I'll give you a sneak peek. That's all you get. Anyway, uh, we'll see you guys this week, next time, tomorrow, the day after, who knows. Um, and I think you're going to like what's about to go down. Oh, and I bought a new car. I got to go to Florida to get by.